Everyone, please take a look at your screen. This man that you're seeing is Don Hightower, and this is an update on his case. If you want to know more about this case, please continue watching. Mr. Don Hightower went missing nearly a year ago, and now human remains have been found in Johnson County that may be connected to his case. In a post to Facebook, Johnson County Sheriff's Office says that a deer hunter found a vehicle matching that of Don Hightower, first reported missing on October 30th, 2021. The sheriff's office says the vehicle was discovered by the hunter Friday around 5 p.m. off of Highway 319 in eastern Lawrence County. And I think this is really um, great because now his family can figure out what happened to him or what may have happened to him because it appears that he wasn't feeling well days before he went missing but I think maybe two days before he went missing, he started to feel a little bit better. But before that, his family had taken him to see a doctor and they did some blood testing to see if anything was wrong. But I don't know the results of that blood testing. So I think that would be good now that he may have been discovered and those remains may be his. Now his family can hopefully figure out what happened to him and be able to lay him to rest. When the investigators that were working on this case learned of the discovery, they were able to match the license plate on the vehicle to that of Don Hightower. Multiple agencies started searching the next day at sunlight, and eventually the remains were found, and they have, they have been taken to the state crime lab for identification and i'm pretty sure by now depending on the state that the remains were found in they're probably going to have to do dental identification because by now i'm pretty sure with um that being an area that deer hunters were in i'm pretty sure that there are other animals besides deers around there that was probably you know um picking at his remains and or the suspected remains of him and um pro there's probably no way to do fingerprints so the only way that they're going to be able to identify him is through dental identification and as you can see right here this is a picture of what his car looked like and the same color possibly um, although the tag number is going to be different, this is a make and color of his car that they found when um, the deer hunter went into the woods that day. Mr. Don Hightower was last seen on October 30th, 2021 after spending part of the day with his family watching the Georgia versus Florida football college game. By the end of the day, no one had heard from him or knew where he was. At the time of his disappearance, his family members told the news Hightower was watching the football game at his son's house. Afterward, he went to his sister's house. At his sister's house, he said that he started feeling tired. Then he left to go home. His family said he only lived a mile down the road. And she asks that he call her when he makes it home. 
Hightower's family said that that never happened and they never heard from him again. And I think, you know, I would hope that, you know, something could be, you know, found out when they when they get those remains back to the lab of what happened to him. Because I'm wondering if he had a heart attack or some type of um, breathing issue or even maybe a seizure that would cause him to end up in the area that he was found. But I mean, even if that was possible, you know, you would think that somebody would find him, you know, in a more visible area since he only lived about a mile away from his sister's house you think that he would be found in a more uh visible area like on the side of the road somewhere between there and a mile away from his sister's house so i'm wondering how did he get into an area where he would not be seen for as long as he was um, did somebody see him on the side of the road sitting there trying to gather himself and was able to convince him to open the door so they could get in and possibly force him to drive them to where um, he was found? And how did they get him out of the car? You know, did they force him out of the car? You know, I have so many questions as to what could have possibly happened and why why he was found in that area and not in a more visible area between his sister's house and his own house which was a mile away from each other so why was he not found in a you know in a visible area between there and his sister's house you know um why was he found in that area you know uh i guess so far off the road thing about this search for Mr. Hightower is that this it first went regional and then national with multiple agencies and several from several states um getting involved in searching for him by the spring of 2022 the Johnson County Sheriff's Office um had not stopped searching for him, but their requests for help from the Georgia Bureau of Investigations had been denied. And I'm wondering why they decided not to get involved in searching for him. That's like really strange to me. But following those statements by the Johnson County Sheriff's Office, the GBI issued a statement for months, the GBI has assisted the Johnson County Sheriff's Office with the efforts to find missing person Donald Hightower. Since Mr. Hightower was reported missing, our agents and analysts have helped with multiple searches, search warrants, computer forensics, intelligence gathering, and sharing numerous interviews and have provided co continuous case consultation to the sheriff's office investigation we will continue to work with the johnston county sheriff's office in this case so that mr hightower's family can get the answers they deserve but i'm still wondering as to why the fbi did not want to um help in searching for him because i think that could have done a lot to find him more uh, a lot sooner than they did the search still on for Donald Hightower from Johnson County. He went missing along with his car last October. Jessica Chow went out to Johnson County to talk to his family and to get an update on the search. I'm outside the Johnson County Sheriff's Office where deputies have been helping the Hightower family try to find 60-year-old Don Hightower. His family says they just want him to come home. Like I said, we was right here watching the Georgia-Florida game that day he left. Scott Hightower is Don's son. He says that after watching the game, he was supposed to drive from his sister's house and call them when he made it home. They haven't heard from or seen him for the past five months. You would think that somebody's seen him or there was a tip that come in and this, that, and the other, but it always was nothing. Scott still searches for his dad every day, but had to return to normal life. He still has no idea what could have happened to his dad, but he's heard some theories. There's been a rumor going around down there for about a month and a half or so that some, there's a bunch of meth addicts down there that uh, 
you know, could have robbed them and, you know, done this and done that. The fact of the matter is we have no idea. Scott says that the GBI has been helping his family and the sheriff's department, but would like them to take more action. And if the GBI would just do that, it would make me and the entire family feel much better about this rumor that's going around. And if they say that, hey, it's just a rumor, there's no, there's, there's nothing to this, because that would give peace, not just to me, but my entire family. In a statement to us, the Johnson County Sheriff's Office said they've used drones, dive teams to look underwater, search dogs, and more to look for Highland. Sheriff Rowland asks anyone with information on Donald Hightower or his 2003 Toyota Camry to contact Bill Thompson at the Johnson County Sheriff's Office. In Wrightsville, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAZ News. In a Facebook post, the Johnson County Sheriff wrote they've requested help from the GBI office multiple times and were denied. Now, the GBI posted a response saying they've helped with searches, intelligence gathering, and have provided continuous consultation to the Sheriff's office. They said they'll continue to work with them to provide the Hightower family with the answers they deserve. Following the recent discovery of um, what is assumed to be Mr. Hightower, Mr. Hightower's human remains, as well as what we now know is his vehicle. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office says they will release additional details about this case and whether those are his remains at a later date. Although I'm hoping that those are not his remains, I kind of feel like they are because they were discovered, you know, not too far away from his car and seeing who, as he's been missing for, you know, over a year now, um, it is very well possible that they could be, but, you know, I'm hoping as I'm sure his family is hoping that they, those remains are not his and that he's possibly still out there somewhere. But if those are his remains, I'm wondering how did he get so far off the road? Um, was he forced off the road? Um, did he get confused and drive back there on his own? Was someone else in the car that could have forced him to drive back there? And then they did whatever they did to him because his those remains or those remains that are assumed to be his were found not too far from the car that they now know is his. So those are a few of the questions that I have, but I have so many more. But if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, share this video, leave me a comment down in the comment section below, and let me know what you think about this case. And please don't forget, if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.